I will tell you there is just one thing I have as a problem with the royal family. Uh, this is the only reform I think I would like to see. That the monarch should not have to die for succession to happen. Now you could have two types of succession. One that is a disgraceful and one that is just compassionate or humane or, or by choice. So the queen should be able to say, I've ruled enough. I want to spend the rest of the time just, you know, uh, taking it easy. So I'm going to appoint the next of heir. Now, if somebody does something outrageous and they have to be more like impeached or thrown out, well, that's a different matter in which uh, that person's descendants may not necessarily ascend the monarchy, but the other person that was in line. That's the only reform I think that the uh, monarchy needs. Now, um, I think the Queen has held on to the monarchy. Well, of course, you can't reti retire as such, but um, I, it, even if she wanted to, for the last many years with Diane and so forth, um, the, the monarchy is in free fall. It's in, in a lot of problems, and even with um, Edward and so on. So, um, Charles, who is the natural in line, he is saying that he's going to have some reforms. For example, he's going to open the lands, the, the, the palace to the public. There may not be a guard, the gate, and so on. And I'm not sure if Charles understands the, the type of people that are in Britain and the world. A lot of people love the monarchy, but there are just a couple who don't love it. And that couple is going to give him grief. Somebody go on the, on the grounds there and start to poop. Take the dog on the grounds, the dog poop. People drive around there and have sex. Um, people go on up there and do drugs. You know, they, they do all these deviant things. Might even Somebody might even end up dying on the grounds. Um, God forbid that somebody go in there with a gun and start shooting up the building or, or explosives or whatever. So I would recommend to Charles that please um, just maintain the monarchy as it had been. It's, it's a traditional institution. It's one that is filled with pomp and circumstance and, and, and history. It's not something to be modernized uh, I, because it can get irrelevant. Anything you're modernizing, you be in conflict with the uh, civil and the secular government, and they're going to win, right? So, um, some of his ideas, you know, around, along that line, I would recommend that you just, you know, be careful. Um, now, on the other hand, um, William, now people are suggesting that he would be the better king. And, 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 and perhaps in his mind, he's also trying to distinguish himself so as to not necessarily cause a leap over, but to be selected as the next king or the next monarch. And I think that, uh, you know, he should wait. You know, that's, that's my view. He should wait. Don't try to rush it. Um, I'm not sure the expediency is. I mean, I do feel that the world has come to an end. And it's going to wrap up very fast. Maybe, maybe we don't have uh, uh, another. Maybe even the queen may not even get out to do it before the world ends. It's it's on its verge. It's on the verge of collapse and so forth. So with that in mind, um, you know they're trying to do modern things. The other day, um, Charles was there with the uh, prime minister and his umbrella thing, and Charles was broke out and laughed. I mean, you got to be careful. I mean, you know, just you know, suppress the laugh. I mean, don't, don't throw it, show up the guy because he could come back and fight back and, and give you problems. Yeah, so with William now, he come up with the ear shot. And this global expediency that I think is bogus. So he's going off on something that he thinks is great. And the whole world thinking global warming or whatever. But this thing is bogus. There's no global warming that we need to be aware of. I mean, I, I believe it's bogus. I believe it's a hoax. And um, the sea has always been rising. Uh, the temperature has always been getting hotter. When I was in high school, to now, that was almost what, 50 years ago, um, the, the temperature, the, the amount of carbon in the air has not increased significantly. With all this significance in buildings and, and vehicles and, and all the uh, uh, pro producers of carbon dioxide. And, and you know, um, some even in Washington here, um, some of these politicians, uh, AOC, for example, is saying that... Um, and others, they want the zero carbon, whatever. I'm not sure what that means. I don't want to study it. But, I mean, don't folks use the education in school? Plants use the carbon to manufacture food. And that is their life nutritional, you know, uh, supplement. 
So if we cut back all the carbon we could, the tree's going to die, we wouldn't have no food, and then, you know, we're going to have a problem now. So he's joining with his earshot, and I'm trying to, you know, get on on it, but um, I can't find nothing and so forth. I'm not sure if the government here, the FBI block him or who, but I can't get on to really, you know, um, say, do anything in the uh, earshot uh, affair. I mean, let me look at the ocean. And I'm, I'm a theologian, so the Bible says that uh, God drowned the flooded planet to get rid of the evil people. He used the water that was above, more like clouds, but it was thicker. It had a lot more water up in the sky. And water from the earth, with what was on the earth, and it covered the earth. And for the longest while, we've been drilling water from the earth. And it goes straight out into the ocean. We just use it water and it goes to the ocean. It rains and goes straight to the ocean. There is no conservation with the buildings and all that stuff and the roads and the concrete and the whole uh, um, cutting on the forest, etc. The soil does not have the opportunity to allow the water to trickle and get back into the water table if that was one of the major sources of water getting back into the earth. So to, to jump on the bandwagon saying, oh, the, the earth is uh, the, you know, flood and all, the, the, the seas rising, and then nations are making the policy to reclaim land from the ocean and from waterways, from lakes and, and seas and so forth. It's obviously the water will go up. So here, you know, we're going on something that sounds popular, but it's just garbage. So I would recommend to the, to the royal folks up there in, Washington, in, in London that stay away from this popular stuff. Now here William now is talking about overpopulation, and uh, and somewhere in Africa they're talking about that. And he's gonna, you're gonna get flat, uh, you're gonna get a pushback, um, and then you see, today, the right is wrong and the wrong is right. So he might be thinking in terms of this is the right thing to do, but people want the wrong thing, and the people have the mic, and the people could you know get him into some serious problems, start ridiculing him, and then you know make him look like he's a loser or something, right? So stay away from these stuff. Just go out and do royal duties, you know, support what the government say, you know, um, you know, just, just be nice and, 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 and so forth. And, and don't try to set policy for the world. We talked about the other day about the fellas going up to the, to, uh, in space, these rich boys. And I mean, I mean, William and the royal family ain't supposed to be talking about that kind of stuff. Take the money and spend it to the poor or whatever. I mean, he has wealth and he has never worked no place in serious life. I've been working for all my life, I ain't got no, no money. And, and you know, I, I have no problems with people with wealth. Uh, and, and they're aristocrats, they won't talk to me or I can't call him up. You know, he's not my friend or whatever. Uh, he's my prince and, and, I, and I love the family and, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, um, you know, you're going to say things that you're going to get problems in, man, you know. So stay out to this. And Charles is saying it, this 17th century, um, or 18th century policy where they stay away from competing with the government and politics and stuff and just be neutral. That's what it needs to continue like that because as soon as you step out of that, you're gonna be a, it's gonna be a problem because the secular government and get rid of the monarchy, you know, and you never know what could happen, other things could happen and so forth. So, um, I believe that you know there might be the royal princes and so forth. Uh, and the Queen, I think, and even the Queen got on with the global warming thing. Uh, I think that they're really trying to, you know, be relevant in their mind what relevant is. But I think they need to remind Britons and the world that it's not about modernization. This is a traditional thing. We we, we come from William the Conqueror. We, we existed longer than the government. You know, we from way back there. And this is what we do. We do chivalry. We do, you know, nostalgia things. We, 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 we are the bridge to history. And I don't try to modernize because anytime you start modernizing, no place in the in Europe they have like a kind of monarchy like the British, you know. And uh, the government, the secular government, is willing to fight with EU, the European Union, to say, listen, we, all this kind of stuff you're going on with, you're going to affect our money and you're going to affect our monarchy. So the, the secular government has the monarchy at mind, and and this is one reason why we're having the uh, Brexit. And, 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 and some way, so be careful now, love the secular government, support them as much as you can, support the, le the, the one side, the whatever, the other side, but don't take sides, just be neutral, or say nothing, just smile and just say nothing if it's going to offend some people, because you, you want to maintain not necessarily popularity, but your place in there, you know, so I hope that um, the monarchy does not think that I am 
anti-monarchy and I'm you know just yakking but I, I really care for the monarchy and I'd like to see it exist uh, till the end of the world as being disbanded but even Charles himself seemed to understand something somebody told him something and I I, I could I, I heard him saying something like um, I'm hearing that uh, and I'm putting in what I think really is this new world order is coming on and uh, we want to work with the New World Order so that, you know, we could still be here and so forth. So, you know, that same New World Order people don't get rid of you if you start being on it. Because you know, I just don't understand who the old Charles, that Marion D and these other people, these communists, to, you know, if I use the word, is the way that Britons were thinking. I think that's what he and his brother said. But if they had married some other royal, you know, child or whatever, um, princess from somewhere in Germany or Russia or wherever, Italy, you know, anywhere in Europe. Travolta would not have been able to dance with uh, her, and, and she's kind of smitten to have danced with the thing. I mean, she would know that, you know, she has to maintain this kind of thing. I can't dance with you. I, I, I'm busy, uh, you know, dance with somebody else. No, 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 no. You know, she's going to dance in the going out thing that she's more popular than the royal family. I mean, um, somebody from the, you know, from the royal um, scope in Europe there would never say stuff like that. They will know that you marry into the family and therefore you need to be subservient. Even if you have the looks and whatever could make you popular, you're just not going to go and do that. You're going to step back and let them walk ahead so that you don't distract from, from the real deal because deal was not a real deal. And see the people still keeping up this dating going, which is going to be a sideshow when Charles or whatever in the monarchy kind of thing that's going on here. Yeah, so, um, you know, as I say, I hope that um, this little discourse would help, um, you know, the, the, the brothers in Europe there to think carefully and don't just rush out and, and get squashed 